I'd like to talk about pipe smoking in Japan while enjoying a pipe. Howdy y'all, Virginia Piper here. You know, for years, I've been fascinated with Japan. The architecture, the technology, and the food. Bento boxes are really cool. And I gotta tell you, I was a fan of sushi long before it became popular here in the United States. The language and the culture, well, they define a world that's very different than the one that I know here in the West. I love to visit that country from top to bottom. Sadly, that's not going to happen because, well, it's really expensive to do that. However, I've been able to explore the country vicariously through a series on Amazon video called James May, Our Man in Japan. It features Mr. May, who is one of the hosts from Top Gear and Grand Tour, as he explores the land of the rising sun over the course of 11 weeks. And I've got to tell you, it looks like a remarkable journey. This world was also opened up to me on Twitter, where I found a vibrant pipe smoking community. Some time back, I found Keir Smith and Silver1234, who routinely post pictures of their pipes, along with other snapshots of life in Japan. I find their photos to be fascinating. And since I've been following them, posts from other pipe smokers in Japan have appeared on my Twitter feed. I only occasionally retweet the ones that are written entirely in Japanese, because I have no idea what they're saying. As it turns out, there are a number of excellent pipe carvers in that country. A few are featured on the Tobacco Pipes Japan website. The beauty and artistry found there is just stunning. I'd love to have several in my collection. That's not likely to happen. I mean, the prices are definitely fair, but they're well beyond my budget. Still, it's fun to look. Going through that website, it's like walking through an art museum. Except I don't have to hop on a plane to go there. The mystique of briar, cob, clay, and meerschaum pipes has definitely found a niche in Japan. And that surprised me until I realized that elements of Western culture have become more prominent in that country over the past several decades, just as some elements of Japanese culture are seen here in the West. And I'm thrilled. Yo, yo, savush kudasai. Have a great one, y'all.